which all revolves around your actions and whether your actions are truly random or whether they can be influenced. Okay, okay for this we're going to use a uh, deck of cards. The first thing we need to do is just cut the cards roughly in half and you're going to choose half that's going to basically play the part of the target half. Okay. Which half would you like? Um, half, yeah. This one, okay. Um, do me a favour, just fan those out on the table. These will be the target half. Uh, face up. Okay, perfect. Pick them up and just give them a, a little shuffle for me. Okay, what I'm going to do is just write a couple of little notes. On here, okay. Okay, it's a little bit... You should be able to read it okay. Do me a favour. I just want to... Uh, without looking at the faces, just give them a shuffle. What we really want to do is we really want to try and randomise your actions here, okay? So give them a little shuffle. Make sure that you don't know where the location of any card is. Obviously, you can't, and make sure that I can't. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to deal down three piles of cards. The cards can come from the top, the middle, or the bottom. They don't have to be in sequence. You can just deal down three piles. There's only one thing I stipulate, and that is you must have at least one card left in your hand at the end. OK? okay? Yep. So go ahead. Uh, Remember, we're going to try and make this as random as possible okay. in a way that you feel that no one... Three piles, yeah? Yeah, yeah. No one can influence uh, your actions. Put more than one card out at a time, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Do whatever you want. I want you to feel random. Everything has to be random. random. Remember, minimum of one card left in your hand. Um, I'll just call you two, yeah? Yeah, that's I'll perfect. OK, I want you to square up these piles. OK, so far, do you believe that this was all random, every action you've made? Yeah, three choices. You've now got another choice to make. You can change the order of these piles, you can pick up the piles, you can shuffle them, you can cut them, you can do whatever you want, or do you want to leave them as they are? No, yeah, that's fine, they are, yeah. Happy? Yeah. OK. This was what we called the target half. This is what you chose to be the target half. OK, I want you to choose one of these cards, just name one. Uh, Jack of Clubs. Jack of Clubs, and where would you like that to go? Uh, this one. Sure? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and another card? Uh, six of hearts. Six of hearts, and where would you like that to go? Uh, middle one, yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay, and last one? Uh, two of spades. And where would you like that to go? Yeah, last one, yeah. There, obviously. Okay, so that's it. We'll take these away. You left two cards in your hand. That's not very important. i just done that to throw you off. But here, we have some choices that you've made. Okay, you chose which hard, half of the cards which would be the uh, target half. Yep. You shuffled the cards, you dealt down three piles in any order you wanted. You were given the option to randomise it even more by shuffling them again or changing their order. You then chose the Jack of Clubs, the Six of Hearts and the Two of Spades. Now, do you remember at the beginning I chose three, pi uh, three cards yep. and I wrote a message on each one of those cards, okay? Now, the three cards I chose were the Nine of Diamonds, I chose the Five of Clubs, and I chose the eight of spades. And on those cards, I wrote a little message. Now, you chose to stop here, you chose to stop here, you chose to stop here. Remember I said I chose the five of clubs, and on the five of clubs, I wrote the two of spades. Not only proving that I knew you would stop with this card on top, but you would choose this card to place on this pile. On this pile, I chose the nine of diamonds with the six of hearts, and the final one, of course, the eight of spades, with the jacket clubs and that's totally random thanks for helping me.